Good morning everybody and welcome to today's maths lesson. Now this week we are learning about something new in maths. We are learning about something called sharing. Now sharing is a word that we have heard before at school but we haven't actually learnt about sharing in maths. It's a little bit different. Now sharing is a little bit like halving and we were learning about halving last week, weren't we? But when we share, we can share between more than two things or two people. And that's what we're going to be learning about today. Now, I have three very special friends with me here this morning. We have Billy Bear. Can everyone say hello to Billy Bear? Hello, Billy Bear. And we have Sammy the Sailor. Can you say hello to Sammy the Sailor? Hello, Sammy the Sailor. And we have Ollie the Owl. Hello, Ollie the Owl. And these three friends are having a delicious picnic. And I actually have some picnic food inside my picnic basket. And what we're going to learn how to do is we're going to learn how to share the food fairly. Because we don't want any arguments at this picnic, do we, Miss Hollenby? Oh, no. No, we don't. So, shall we have a look inside the picnic basket? Yes. Inside my picnic basket, I have one, two, three delicious plums, Miss Hollenby. Mm. Now, we know that they're not really plums, but when we learn about sharing, we can use our toys and pretend that they're different things. So at the moment, I'm pretending that these toys are my delicious plums. One, two, three delicious plums. Now, I need to share these plums fairly between the three friends. And I taught you a little rhyme last week. And I've got a little rhyme that I use when I'm sharing fairly as well. And it's a little bit like the rhyme we used last week. So, I'm going to put them all in the middle like this. And now I'm going to show you how to share them fairly. So, one for you, one for you, and one for you. Now, let's see, how many plums does Billy Bear have? She has one plum. How many plums does Ollie the Owl have? Can you help me count? He has one, one plum. And how many plums does Sammy the Sailor have? Can you help me at home? He has one, one plum. So all of the friends have one plum each. And because they all have the same, I know that I've shared the plums fairly, Miss Hollenby. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Okay, shall we try with another one? Oh, yes, Miss Torbert. Okay, so they're going to eat their plums. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious plums. Okay, right. <gasps> now, inside my picnic basket, I have some more food. I've got some big, juicy melons. Would you like to see how many I have? Yes, please, Miss Torbert. I have, you can help me count. One... Two, three, four, five, and six juicy melons. Now, we know they're not really melons, but when we learn about sharing, we use our toys to help us and we can pretend that our toys are anything we want them to be. So here are my six juicy melons. I'm actually just going to arrange them like this on the table. Now, I need to share them fairly between the three friends. So I'm going to say my special rhyme. Here we go. One for you. 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 And another one 
for you. No, Miss Talbot. No, have I done something wrong, Miss Hollandy? That hasn't been shared fairly. Right, let's have a look. Miss Hollandy doesn't think that I've shared these melons fairly. Let's see how many Billy Bear has. Are you ready? Help me count. One, One two. two. She has two melons. Let's see how many Ollie the Owl has. One, two, two three. three. He has three melons. Let's see how many Sammy the Sailor has. Sammy has one, one melon. <gasps> they don't have the same number of melons, do they, Miss Hollenby? No, they do not. No, I have not shared the melons fairly. Shall I try again? Yes. Okay, right, put them all back in the middle. And when I'm sharing, I must make sure that I give the melons out in the same order, in the right order. So I'm going to give Billy hers first, then Ollie, then Sammy, then Billy, then Ollie, then Sammy, until they've all gone. Let's try. One for you, one for you, one for you. <gasps> one for you, one for you, and one for you. Right, let's see if I've shared them fairly this time. How many melons does Billy the bear have? She has one, one two. two melons. Okay, let's see how many Ollie has. He has one, one two. two melons. And let's see how many Sammy the sailor has. He has one, one two. two melons. They all have two melons, which means I've shared them fairly. I had six, I've shared them between three, and everybody has two melons. Okay, so now it's your turn at home to have a go at some sharing problems. Now, what you're going to need to do first is go and find three cuddly toys because that's how many we're sharing between. So pause the video and go and find three cuddly toys. Did you find them? Good. Make sure that they're all sitting ready for their picnic food. Well done. Now, I've actually got some more food inside my picnic basket. Inside my picnic basket, I have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strawberries. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need some little toys like this that you can pretend to be strawberries, okay? So if you haven't got anything yet, pause the video and go and find some little toys that you can use to pretend to be strawberries. And remember, you need nine of them. Good. Did you find some? Okay, what I would like you to do now is share the nine strawberries between the three friends. Remember to say the rhyme, one for you, one for you, one for you. And when you've shared the nine strawberries, you need to check that you've shared them fairly, okay? You need to make sure that all of your teddies have the same number of strawberries and I want to know how many strawberries they have each. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Good. Did you share the strawberries? I wonder if you could write down on a piece of paper how many strawberries they all got. Let's have a go at another one. Oh, inside my picnic basket I have some juicy green apples. I actually have, can you see this number down here? 12 green apples. And what I would like you to do is get 12 green apples ready and share them fairly between your three teddy bears. Pause the video and have a go now. Did you do it? Well done. How many juicy apples did each teddy bear get? Could you write it down for me? Well done. Right, let's have a look at a 
another sharing problem because I have more food in my basket. This time, oh look, the numbers disappeared down the bottom here. Let me bring it up. Oh, a one and a five. I've got 15 bananas in my picnic basket. So you're going to need to find 15 bananas. Make sure you count them carefully. And I want you to share your 15 bananas between your three friends at the picnic. Pause the video and have a go now. Did you do it? Well done. How many bananas did each teddy bear get? Was it fair? How do you know it's fair? Have a little think about it. Well done. Okay, we have one more sharing problem to do. Here we go. Oh, the last thing inside my picnic basket. Ah, oh, this is a big number here, a one and an eight. Do you know what number that is at home? That's right, number 18. We, I have got 18 juicy tomatoes inside my picnic basket. Now, you need to get 18 juicy tomatoes. Remember to use your toys. And when you've got your 18 juicy tomatoes, you need to share them fairly between your three teddy bears. Pause the video and have a go now. Did you share them all fairly? Well done. How many tomatoes did each teddy bear get? Did they all get the same number? That's how we know if we've shared them fairly. Could you write down how many tomatoes each of your teddy bears got? Well done, everybody. That was really tricky maths today, wasn't it? Please send us lots of photos of you using your toys to do your sharing. And maybe you could take a picture of your answers too.